Fostering safety in the science classroom is important to Ames. Safety concerns have been raised about the classroom use of a laser pointer. Any teacher using a laser pointer should exercise care not to direct or reflect the laser beam into the eyes of any student. The good news is that a safe substitute for the laser pointer can be constructed in a few minutes for a few dollars. In this video, I will show you how to construct this simple device and how it's used in a student activity called Laser Tag, which you can download free from the Ames website. These are the materials you will need to construct a laser simulator. From Radio Shack, a jumbo, super bright, red LED. A double A battery holder. A heavy duty 9 volt snap connector. Two mini alligator clips. Visit your local store and give the sales clerk the part numbers and the clerk will quickly locate the parts for you. You will also need two AA batteries, transparent tape, a hand lens, a large binder clip, and a pair of pliers. First, I'll show you how to attach the LED to the battery pack. Identify the longer lead on the LED. It's the positive lead. Use pliers to bend up the tips of both wire leads on the LED. Place the LED on the bottom of the AA battery holder so that the flange on the LED fits flush against the holder. Tape the LED to the battery holder. Label the positive lead. Next, this is how to attach battery clips to the snap-on battery connector. Insert tip of wire into hole. Bend wire flat against the bottom of the clip. Using pliers, bend over the tab Bend the other tab over the bare wire. Attach an alligator clip to the other lead. If possible, solder each connection. To finish the construction, we want to attach the snap-on battery connector to the battery pack and insert the batteries. Snap the connector to the battery holder. Connect the red positive lead of the connector to the positive lead on the LED. Connect the black lead from the connector to the negative lead on the LED. Insert the AA batteries. The negative end goes against the spring. And that completes the construction of the laser simulator. Place a sheet of paper in front of the LED. You should see a bright spot of red light. If you don't, check all of the connections. If the connections are tight and the LED still isn't lit, try reversing the alligator clips. To simulate a laser, the red light needs to be focused into a narrow beam. Use a binder clip to stand up a piece of white cardboard to act as a screen. Attach a binder clip to the hand lens. Place the hand lens in front of the screen. Place the laser simulator so that the red light passes through the hand lens onto the screen. Move the lens and laser simulator back and forth until you get a small spot of red light on the screen. This spot of red light simulates the beam from an actual laser pointer. What makes the laser simulator useful is that the red light from the simulator can be reflected off of several mirrors and still be focused into a small spot of red light. 
which is exactly what students are asked to do in the AIMS activity called laser tag. In laser tag, students are asked to place a mirror at point B and a mirror at point C so that the light from a laser simulator is reflected from B to C and then to a target at point D. But students are not allowed to use the trial and error method. Instead, they review or learn how to use a reflect view or a geometry compass to bisect an angle and construct a line perpendicular to another line. Students then construct the path a ray of light travels from the source to the first mirror, to the second mirror, and then on to the target. Knowing the law of reflection, that the angle at which a light ray is reflected off a flat mirror is equal to the angle at which the ray strikes the mirror, students construct the mirror lines at point B and point C. Standing a mirror along these lines, students use a laser simulator to test the accuracy of the constructions. As you can see, if the mirror lines are accurately constructed, the laser beam hits the target dead center. We hope you have found this video informative and useful. A free print copy of these instructions can be downloaded at our website. The laser simulator first appeared as a Tinkering Toys and Teaching article in the April 1996 issue of Ames Magazine. Volume 10, Number 9. The laser simulator can also be used as a light source for the AIMS activities, the Pharaoh's Chambers, Rays Around the Corner, and Second Sight, found in the AIMS publication, Rays Reflections. These materials can also be purchased at the AIMS store. Science Safety Poster, Reflect View, small mirrors, four centimeters by four centimeters, hand lens, and the book Ray's Reflections.